How's it going? It's your guy Chris, Capital Link and Associates, and today we are cleaning HVAC systems. Uh, we're going to clean some vents, and we're going to clean the furnace, and get everything without the dust and the allergens and the, the pollen and the dust mites and all the other gunk that stays in there. Um, a lot of people say clean it every year. Me personally, I would say depending on where you live and if you have animals, uh, if your house accumulates out of dirt and dust, depending on what kind of floors you have, I will personally clean with the changing of the seasons. Don't let me be the professional and tell you. You do your own. Before you touch anything or do anything, inspect anything, always, always cut the power to the electricity of what you're dealing with, which right now we're dealing with the furnace. So we cut the power to the furnace. And let's open it up and see what we're working with today. All right, let's get it on. Oh my God. All right, so first and foremost, what I want to do now is remove the filters. As you can see, like, this is ridiculous. No. So what we're going to do now um, is clean these as much as possible, get all the dirt and the allergens out of this one, um, and go ahead and put an order in for some new ones. Um, normally, I will come and inspect and then go get the things that are needed, but this is a one-site job where the owner opened it up and was like, just do what you can do today. So as you can see, there's cat hair, dog hair. The buildup on this is just bad. So what I'm going to start with first, go shot back. Right now, I'm cleaning the capture pan at the bottom of the furnace, and it is, as you can see, disgusting. <laughs> that side is pretty much done. Let's give it a little last minute rinse off. important areas to clean because this is what blows back into your house. So this part needs to get dusted down really good, nice wipe down, clean the blades and the blower, one quick last little blow, polish everything up, and we'll be out of here. As you can see, the original color of the grill, <laughs> this is the original color. This is three years worth of buildup. And I'm literally putting elbow grease into it. So what I'm gonna do is take it outside and I'm gonna pressure wash this one. Drop them in there like swimwear, baby. As you see, they should flush right in. One last wipe down. Ooh, thing shining. All right. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and clean all the vent ducts out in the vents. Um, sometimes they have screws into the floor, subflooring floor itself. So this one doesn't have it. So if you look down there, that's what's blowing, that's coming from the fan, people sweeping, and it just collects here and it blows up and it sticks and blows up. So um, just to give you a little example of what's down there. Look at that.
So once you do that, you continue all the 